Hey Jen, still on the road, but I wanted to check in today and talk about the last two and a half weeks where I've worn nothing but my three pairs of sheath underwear. Now this is another one, as you guys know, Mack Weldon is kind of my default that I go to for underwear, but you guys always suggest great companies. And sheath is one where they're doing something that's within the industry a trend, and they're one of the brands doing it. So sheath does this uh, super soft underwear. It's a premium men's brand, but it has the construction on the inside where there's a separate pouch. And I'll just say for the rest of the video, I'm going to be using adult language about the male human anatomy because we're all men here. So if you're uncomfortable with it, go ahead and click away. But I'm going to be talking about putting your penis inside a pouch within your underwear. As we jump in here, make sure you subscribe to learn about the best men's wear on the internet. Give a thumbs up for keeping your balls nice and cool. And I don't have a referral link or anything for this. Uh, I'll just link to them below if you want to check them out. So I bought the three pack of Sheath 2.0, which is $45. So not inexpensive underwear. And uh, I got a red, a white, and a blue. I like that. Yay, America. But there's a few different models of sheath underwear that you're able to purchase. There's the 2.0, the 3.0, the 3.21, and then the 4.0. The 2.0 is the basic, that's the cheapest one, and that has 95% cotton, 5% elastane. So I'm going to talk about that model specifically. I do not have experience with the higher uh, versions, but those are considered their sport models. Now, in the last two and a half weeks, like I said, I've worn no other underwear but this. So I've worn this for travel, for uh, a red eye flight. I've worn this in my daily use. I've also used this in the past two and a half weeks, I've run probably 70 miles in these in total. So I just wanna share some of my experience. You guys are always interested in this type of thing. They really only have one construction, which is the boxer brief design, which is my preference. I'm a boxer brief guy. They really only have one construction, which is the boxer brief style, which is my style, I'm a boxer brief guy. The tag is slightly off center, which is just an odd design, but it does help for identifying the front versus back. I get dressed in the dark in the morning, and so I, I do like that there's a little indicator. The main differentiator of sheath and some of these under underwear is the construction where you've got a pouch on the fly in order to put your penis and your balls. So I actually do have a banana here to illustrate. So you'd put that in this pouch and uh, it's it's curved in a certain way so that you're able to you know fit it in everything. Just from a fabric and design standpoint, these are incredibly comfortable. From a comfort and construction standpoint, these are extremely comfortable. I don't find myself having to adjust with these as much as like MeUndies. MeUndies are very thin. They tend to roll up and then you have to adjust all day. They do pretty well with like heat dissipation and keeping yourself cool through the day, just in the cotton phase. We'll talk about the pouch in a second. It is a super soft cotton, but it does lack some of the technical features that like a Mack Weldon does where the fabric is antimicrobial, so it fights odor and, and that type of thing. Although my main test of an underwear is really can I sit comfortably through a red eye? And these definitely pass that test. Now talking about the main feature, which is the pouch, uh, I like to call this like a wonder bra for your balls. You will never look as good in a pair of underwear as you will wearing this pouch style underwear because when you put your penis and your balls into this pouch and it hoists those up, uh, you're, you, look really, you look really good. There's no stuffing involved in this. Now, I don't find that that's an issue when I wear them as far as like pushing them into your pants. Uh, you may look a little bit better anatomically if you do wear these with like a pair of dress slacks or something. I have noticed that. But it really isn't anything to be concerned about. Really what it does is creates this layer between your legs in order to keep everything separate. It doesn't really push it out or anything. That being said, what I have noticed over the last two weeks is through my daily motion, when you're uh, sitting down and you stand up and you walk and you move, and even when you run, I find that I don't sit in there all day. Uh, just throughout the movement of the day, especially when you stand up, uh, I tend to just kind of slide out of the pouch and then uh, the whole bonus feature of this underwear kind of goes away. So you can definitely readjust throughout the day. You can uh, you know, fix it in, in the bathroom when you, when you use the toilet. But really that readjustment in order to take advantage of the number one feature is what kind of lets me down in this underwear. Now they have another version. They have, I think the 4.0 is a double pouch. So you've got one pouch for the penis, one pouch for the balls, it keeps those separate. I have seen in their emails that they illustrate it where you can put just the penis in or your whole package in order to uh, keep one of those separate or the other. Now this is also a big caveat. I've only been wearing these uh, you know, in the spring. I haven't been wearing them through a hot summer. I could imagine anybody in the south of the US or anywhere where it gets very hot, this would be a huge bonus. And I will check in over the summer. I will continue to wear these. In order to go through the full two weeks, I've washed them a handful of times. You gotta wash them every couple of days. You wash them in cold water. 
water. I usually just hang dry them. I don't tumble dry. Same thing with any of my Mack Weldon or MeUndies. If you're paying 20 bucks for a pair of underwear, you can, you can kind of baby them a little bit. That being said, I'll wear these for the rest of the summer and I'll check in. I love when you guys have questions that I can kind of do a follow-up video on there. This is just my experience over the one. I don't have any really color, color preference between the three. They all feel exactly the same. And if you guys are interested enough, then I'll go check out the 3.0 or the 4.0 that are their sport models and I'll try and uh, do a little bit more of that. I really use these like initial videos I do on the channel as a, as a temperature gauge to see how much interest there is in a particular company or product and then I go from there. There you have it gents, that is sheath underwear. Just as an industry note, something that we've seen over the past two years is the rise of prices in menswear, specifically in underwear, and that's because we are getting more technical fabrics, better quality items, and people are obviously willing to pay for that and so I think you will see more companies coming up in this type of space. You guys have recommended great underwear companies over the last year. I'll put a list below. Let me know if I'm missing any from there that you want me to check out. And I'll be back in the studio in a couple of days so that I don't have to have this like laptop FaceTime camera uh, th situation going on. But I did bring my mobile microphone, so I hope this sounds pretty good. And until next time, gents, this is The Cavalier. Mm -hmm.